Hello, my name is William Kumwembe and this is Business Time, a magazine program in which we bring you major business and economic news stories making headlines in the country, Kedis of Odd Mutual. Ensuring and saving with Old Mutual means growing crops, growing jobs, growing a future. Creating mutual futures, your money invested for the good of all. In this week's edition, we speak with Finance Minister Sosten Gwengwe on Malawi's prospects to secure an International Monetary Fund IMF ECF deal. And also in the program, entrepreneurs challenged on innovation. We have these under the stories. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome. This is Business Time and my name is William Kumembe. In our main story in the program today, it has been 36 months since Malawi cancelled the extended credit facility program with the International Monetary Fund in September 2020. Over the months, the government has been in talks with the British Notes Institution for a possible new ECF program. There's been to and fro movement in as far as the conversation is concerned as the IMF put some parameters and conditionalities for Malawi to meet before a possible ECF deal. Now, an IMF mission team is in the country for further discussions in line with some recommendations that the fund made. Our journalist, Jimwemwe Mangas, caught up with Finance Minister Sosten Gwengwe to find out Malawi's position and preparedness for the program. So we are very hopeful uh, that uh, this ECF uh, mission uh, is going to be successful, but uh, it's still early stages, but uh, we've been uh, where we are for some time and now moving towards uh, an actual mission that might really lead us into an uh, ECF. For us, it's a milestone and we are very excited, looking forward to really put together this program uh, finally uh, and see uh, the sort of uh, impact uh, an, an IMF uh, um, a program can bring to our ailing economy. Because let me say that uh, before you talk of growth in your economy, you need to be able to stabilize the fundamentals. You cannot grow up until you've stabilized the, uh, the, the, the fundamentals. So the problem that we've had in the past uh, few years is that our economy is uh, in an acute imbalance. Uh, both on the fiscal and uh, on the monetary as well. And this program, the primary objective of the anticipated ECF is first and fo uh, foremost re restore the macroeconomic stability. Once you have that foundation, then you now look at the growth sectors and start growing the economy. So um, it is a very important uh, program and we're hoping that we can now conclude and, uh, and uh, move forward as a country. So basically it's not them coming or not coming, basically it's putting the actual program intact. Remember, once the program is uh, uh, agreed, then it is a program that guarantees almost always that this will uh, cut it. This will restore the macroeconomic stability uh, in the country in the next, uh, within the program period, which normally is about three years. Malawi should be a rising star. Malawi should be booming economically. Now, it's, it's not about them coming or not coming. It's about do we have a program that restores Malawi's difficulties in forex, Malawi's difficulties in growth, Malawi's difficulties in uh, interest rates, inflation, and all those issues that we talk about as fundamentals for the economy. So putting the program really is about how do we deal with rising inflation, how do we deal with the, uh, the, the FX market, how do we deal with uh, the, the debt burden, how do we deal with uh, uh, your budget, and all those things being put together, then the targets follow, and then as long as we are on track, it's almost guaranteed that Malawi will bounce back uh, with this program. So up until everybody, IMF, Malawi government and everybody involved is convinced that this program that has been put together is the one that will restore Malawi's macroeconomic stability. That's the point when you do have the staff level agreement and the program approved going forward. So we've really done quite a lot uh, with them and we're hoping that this mission uh, must really be the mission that gets us uh, to, to, to the ECF. Now, insurance penetration in the country seems to be low, seen at 2.5%, a rate seen as bothering by both insurance industry players and the government. Now, 
several interventions have to be deployed to ensure that the country maximizes the potential it has to increase the penetration rate. What are these uh, interventions that the country needs to deploy? These are the conversation that was there at the Insurance Institute of Malawi annual conference held in Mangoch at the weekend from where our journalist Chimwemwe Mangazi reports. This came out during the Insurance Institute of Malawi's annual conference held in Mangochi recently. Gwengwe says the government intervention is crucial in various areas such as regulation through creation of a conducive environment that encourages innovation while ensuring protection of both insurers and consumers. So you would know that uh, ours is an economy that has no buffers. So if you look at our fiscal, uh, we don't have buffers. We are like we have a fiscus that is perpetually in deficit. Uh, even on the monetary side, any little shock that hits us, there are reactions on the monetary side because we are running an economy with no monetary or fiscal buffers at all. So that speaks to our resilience that ours is not a resilient economy because anything that comes our way that was not planned, any calamity that comes in, then there is no cushion uh, and it hits the people directly. And we've been hit by too many of these kind of shocks uh, recently. And uh, to hear of an impending El Nino, our prayer is that it should not materialize. But if it does, then um, the, the whole issue of insurance, say crop insurance, for instance, uh, something that we've been doing um, uh, in, the past, uh, in, the, in the recent past, uh, now comes on the table. And you would see that um, uh, going forward, resilience is the main thing. Uh, uh, as part and parcel of putting an economy together. So insurance is so much at the heart of that resilience uh, going forward. So basically, I think all the interventions that we are trying to put together now with all our partners have a resilience component being built in. So, for example, instead of uh, maybe uh, building two bridges, we would rather build one that is resilient, that will withstand these shocks um, next year or, or, or in the immediate uh, um, or, in, or in the immediate future. So um, resilience in, in terms of reconstruction, resilience in terms of uh, having buffers, insurances, all this is now the new thinking in as far as uh, preparing ourselves for these shocks is concerned. Insurance Institute of Malawi immediate past president Hastings Kabesa says through collaboration between the insurance industry and the financial services sector, the industry can create room for growth. He says development of innovative insurance products coupled with favorable regulatory frameworks would enable the sector to shield citizens from the shocks of economic instability. Indeed, insurance penetration in Malawi is very low. And uh, as I mentioned in my speech, insurance penetration is around 2.5%. I think he, the main challenge is awareness as well. And at the same time, the culture that we have as, uh, as citizens, because we are putting insurance as secondary need. And also, if you look at um, our syllabuses, if you look at uh, primary school, secondary school, you agree with me that uh, insurance was not being mentioned. Uh, all of us who went through that structure, you find that insurance was silent in our syllabuses. And that culture that we built that time has made insurance uh, not being known very much to our populace. You can imagine 2.5%. We are still like a youthful industry. Yet this industry has been around for many, many years. And uh, this industry is an industry that is a, a backbone of the economy. As we have mentioned to you today, uh, where we are saying building resilience through insurance in terms of economic turbulence. That's our theme for this conference. And uh, this theme does um, give us a testament that uh, insurance is needed. Insurance can, we can lean on insurance in terms of economic turbulence like the way we are going through. Uh, we are going through a lot of economic turbulence in terms of climate change issues, the economy, the way it is performing. And you know, if you lose a property now and that property is not insured, that means you have nowhere to lean. You have nowhere to learn on to get uh, compensation. But if you have an insurance policy, you'll be able to get compensation and you'll be able to 
uh, come back on your feet in terms of your economic needs. A recent Global Data Malawi Insurance Key Trends and Opportunities to 2026 report indicates that gross written premiums of the Malawi insurance market reached 120.7 billion kwacha in 2021. Remember, this is Business Time, a magazine program in which we bring you major business and economic news stories making headlines in the country, Kedas of Odd Mutual. Kumalawi, Dimane Nagudi, Jumajili Muntak. Ndibo is in the zone. Mutaguzona Zimene Zipali Bonse. Zina Langa, and Chris Gadimani. Ndibo Ndima Yanganila Banja Langa, Pogwila Nchiro Kugala Max, Makademi and Nat Farm. Zonse zima ya mbila bana za lebano. Tima samalila mpugila kutitu kwa nitse kuzala mitengo ya mbili. Mitengo yi kagula, tima sanka mwonte za wabu ino kwa mbili oka oka. Tima funa kuti nite za wabu makademi ya wabu malawi, uzidzu hika kuti ndu wabu ino kwa obosa. Tika kulola kwa mbili, tima lemba so nchito antu wa mbili. Tima kala onyadila kukala na ote nga mbali mzimenezi. From the soil comes endless possibilities. That's why Old Mutual is investing for the long term from the ground up. We call this creating mutual futures. Old Mutual, let's do great things every day. Welcome back. This is Business Time, a magazine program in which we bring you major business and economic news stories making headlines in the country, cadres of Odd Mutual. And my name is William Kumwembe. Moving on with the program. Indigenous entrepreneur Napoleon Zombe has challenged Malawians to break free from dependency of handouts and focus on practical methods of creating wealth. He was speaking at the weekend during a wealth creation conference organized in Blantyre. Our journalist, Lueri Nimpasa, caught up with Zombe in this interview. It is very, very important to share our experiences with young people because if we don't share our experiences, it means now our guys, instead of developing this country, they will be all doing research. So if we have done research already, why should they go to back to square one. So we have to help them so that they can stand on our platform. Uh, during our days, Dr. Kamuzbanda told us that he, he did not bring money from where he was. So he had appealed to the public to work in order to generate the income. So people listened and they worked very hard. So after a while, we were told that, well, we have to be writing proposals and other things in order to generate income. So people have left the hardworking spirit and started work, walking from this end to the other end. That has uh, ended up in crushing our economy. So we need to ask our boys, there's nothing for nothing. There's no way we can be successful if we don't work. Even God himself told Adam that he, because you have sinned, then you will eat from your labor. So we have to work in order to earn the living. Days are changing. So as days are changing, we also need to change the way of thinking, the way of doing our businesses. There's no way we can maintain all the ways because technology is coming in, a lot of differences are coming in, so we have to keep up changing in order to keep our standards. Otherwise, in our old days, most of us were good farmers because they maintained the way they were doing things in those days. Now they are out of business. But those who managed to come up with new technologies, now they are still standing in their businesses. The Wealth Creation Conference, which attracted entrepreneurs and business captains, was organized by Sekamo Konzat, and its managing director is Audrey Mwara. The approach that we have at Sekamo is um, the approach which 
uh, I think tr a direct translation from Chichewa into English would be a ground approach. <laughs> uh, in other words, we believe so much that it's important to develop this country. Uh, we believe in making sure that we are creating wealth. But what we've seen so far is that there is so much talk in so much uh, planning and so much uh, theoretical uh, approach to how wealth is created. So according to us as a Sikamo, we think that the best way to create wealth is to go to people that have actually done it, people that can show us what they have done themselves. So it doesn't matter whether they've been in school or not. It doesn't matter whether they have run any empire in terms of being a manager or a CEO or elsewhere, but as long as they had nothing and they are showing us how they created what they have, uh, those are the people that we bring on the ground. So the people that are here really are indeed prominent, but they are prominent from the aspect of being people off the ground, I think for a direct translation that we, we really don't believe that we can develop this nation by simply uh, talking uh, about development from a wish list or a theoretical point of view, but then by actually taking people that have something to show. They've done it here in Malawi and they really had nothing, but they started from scratch. Those are the people that we think can help and we've done that from 2019. Every year we've literally brought people that have got something to show. Most of the people don't have the endurance and the uh, delayed gratification which comes from long-term thinking. The reality about investing and growing is that the fruits, you don't see them today. You need to think about it in the long term and you need to start your journey and keep progressing. Now, in other business news, Malawi Stock Exchange listed FMB Capital Holdings, a parent company for First Capital Bank, has seen its market capitalization on the Malawi Stock Exchange rising to 983 billion kwacha to become the second on the local bus. It trails behind telecommunications industry operator Airtel Malawi, which saw uh, recently its uh, counter hitting about 1 trillion Watcher. Now, our journalist, Justin Kwe, who has been following trains on the local bus to find out the movement in as far as capitalization as well as share trends are concerned. First, Merchant Bank Capital Holdings is a mother company which has subsidiaries across the Sadiq region. And in Malawi, it has First Capital Bank, FCB. The company was listed on the Malawi Stock Exchange years ago and it is among financial service providers that are listed on the market. The counter of FMBCH has seen its market capitalization growing to 983 billion kwacha to become second on the local market in terms of market capitalization. It trails behind telecommunication industry operator Airtel Malawi, which recently became the first out of the 16 counters on the stock market to have a market capitalization of 1 trillion kwacha. FMBCH has outpaced National Bank of Malawi, which now has a market capitalization of 981 billion kwacha. In an interview, Malawi Stock Exchange Chief Operating Officer Kelin Kondowe said increases in market capitalization on the counters reflect market and investors' confidence. She said among the benefits that come with listing on the market is price discovery, which is difficult for private companies and is beneficial, especially for shareholders who would want to realize the value of their investments. On the outlook, Kondowe said market dynamics remain unpredictable but good performance for most counters is guaranteed. Market analysts have for long touted investment in shares as one of the safe ways of investing as value grows substantially. In an interview, market analyst Bondi Mtembezega said investors in the counter are expected to have good returns. When you look at market capitalization of any listed company, uh, you're looking at the, the market value of, of that company. So how, how do you determine that market value? So looking at the price and the um, total number of shares uh, outstanding. 
So basically, the market capitalization is just the um, product of the price, the present market price, and the total number of uh, shares um, in issue. So if, for example, uh, the share price is at two quarter, current uh, market price, and uh, the total number of shares in issue are, are 10, uh, at 10, uh, that means the market capitalization of the company is, is 20. Yes, so basically that, that's it. You look at the value of the, of the share price uh, by uh, the total number of shares in, 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 in the issue. Well, it, yes, it, it, it does. So first of all, a market cap, uh, like I said earlier, um, really rises by two or three things. One, uh, either the share price has gone up, or the total number of uh, shares outstanding have gone up, uh, or a combination of both. So you can have a market cap uh, increasing by, by, by both the increase in the share price and the total number of uh, uh, shares in issue. But um, it, in this uh, uh, case, in this scenario, um, what has happened is that the, um, the, the share price of uh, First Capital Bank has increased, um, holding the, the, the number of shares in issue uh, constant. So it's 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 been pushed by by, by the rise in the in the share price. Yeah. All right. So so an increase in that uh, level of um, uh, market capitalization primarily really uh, signals uh, a good perception. Uh, if if the market capitalization is is growing by uh, a growth in in the share price, obviously the shareholders uh, uh, will benefit on the price return. Because implicitly, what that means is that uh, the share price is, is, is gradually uh, going up. So, should an investor um, decide to, to sell uh, relative to, to, to the price that they bought the shares at before, they, they stand to gain because of that rise in the, um, in, in, in the share price. Also, um, the, the company as a whole, the firm as a whole, really benefits in the sense that. Uh, an increase in market capitalization signals um, a, a, a better a, a, a corporate image, uh, the perception that the, uh, and the confidence that people are having in the, in the, in the company uh, really goes up because uh, that, in a way, um, signals a bit of a demand. Uh, so uh, the shareholders and the firm uh, stand to benefit on those two angles. Market capitalization is the sum of shares in issue for the company multiplied by share price on the market. The Malawi Stock Exchange has 16 counters with the banking sector dominating. Other listed companies are from communications, hospitality and manufacturing sectors among others. Well, that story also brings us to the end of today's edition of the program Business Time, a magazine program in which we bring you major business and economic news stories making headlines in the country. On behalf of the entire production team, my name is William Kumwembe. Thank you for watching and bye for now. Brought to you by Old Mutual. Creating mutual futures, your money invested for the good of all.